Hello everyone and welcome back to Small Land. I'm just sitting out here freezing my butt off because I've got the wrong armor for the winter, but you can't deny the winter is pretty beautiful around here. So where we left off last time is I was uh, exploring over there in the swamp. It's uh, this area over here. There's the albino spider that we have to kill. There's also this area up here. This is called, I think, the Badlands or the something lands. And there's the Black Hornet up there. Now I've reviewed the armor that we need to craft. Lysandra's armor is probably objectively easier than getting Nox armor, and Nox armor is like way better protection, so I think we should just progress sort of linearly down that line. In order to do that, we're gonna need the loom and spindle, and in order to get that, we need silk, and I do have these uh, shears here, which I can use to harvest up some more silk from like spider nests. I did do one little quick farming raid just to go get some materials uh, before recording today, and whoa, hello there. And I should be topped off on all the supplies that we'll need for an excursion out into the swamp. So I'll just meet you over there. All right, well, I was just running away from some bugs and I jumped down here and look, I found an actual cave that I think I can explore. So I'm gonna hop down in here, if anything, just to see if I can get warm a little bit. Am I warming up? I'm comfortable now. There we go, getting my health back. Okay, nice. Just be on your guard because I have no idea what's down here. I can hear, uh, yeah, just some ants. Ants are good. Ants give you a little bit of lint. You can top off on your nourishment a little bit. I'm kind of right on the border of the swamp, so I'm thinking this might actually lead to the swamp. More ants. Remember, the swamp was like very low elevation compared to like the regular biomes. Oh, geez. Come on, man. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. I can hear the crickets and stuff. We're definitely getting toward the swamp. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Right, I'm gonna set up a little checkpoint here. In case there's a storm, we can run back here and I'll build ourselves like a workbench and everything else. All right, quick repair and stash away like the ant heads and the lymph and flower petals and crap. Okay, so now we can test out those shears. How do I use those? Okay, it should be as simple as just snip, snip, snip or just whack, 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 I guess. That gives me three silk and two insect eggs. So since I've played last, they've updated the game, so there's a couple of changes. One is that you get bark a lot more easily, and two, well, actually, that's the only thing I really remember. Okay, so we're off to a good start there with the insect eggs and the silk, and looks like it's about to crack morning as well. Hopefully the winter is almost over because it's super cold, and that just, the only thing it does is hurt you. I wish that Maybe there was some benefit to the cold, like uh, the water froze over or something like that and made travel a little bit easier. Yeah, but we're looking mostly for spiders. Spiders and then silk. If we can get the silk without killing the spiders, that's great, but we do need to kill a few spiders as well. Oh, speak of the devil, that's a black widow right there. So what we can do is do the poison resistance. That'll be good for 600 seconds. Also, I can do a blackberry jam cooked a few more of those and that will like basically it blocks off your nourishment loss for i don't know five minutes or something okay so um incoming poison is reduced with this so we'll take that and uh what are these guys resistant to again okay these guys are vulnerable to edge that's good i've got okay see i'm starting to get cold so we gotta we gotta do this in a hurry here here we go and dodge dodge been taking a hit so far. I am freezing cold though. There we go. Flawless victory. Nice. Didn't even have to take that potion, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves at all here. Okay, now I'm not only cold, I'm freezing. And so, should I just try to build a fire here? Yeah, I'm like about to die. I'm so cold. Okay, put down a fire. Is that gonna help me? Or do I really... I better run all the way back, don't I? Or... Can I hide in this bottle? No, that's not that's not open. Okay. No, I'm getting comfortable again. Holy crap, man. Gotta be careful. I should definitely have invested in some of that primal armor. That gave way better cold protection than the chitin armor that I'm wearing right now. But I'm hoping we can kind of skip over that and just get like the spider armor. Plus, campfires are pretty cheap, only costing a little bit of resin and wood. I'll just set up a bunch of campfires everywhere as checkpoints. I think that's a nocturnal spider. Either that or a wolf spider. And, yep, wolf spider. Very close to another one. Let's pull him back here a little bit. I've taken poison damage, but it's not hurting me too bad. The poison resistance potion is working. Oh, geez. Got pinned there. Okay, that was a bit rougher than the first one. That's okay. All right, we're cold again. We got another wolf spider here. 
Just attack! Oh no, he dodged. All right, one more hit here. Got him. Just noticing that those flint shears are super damaged. And there's like, there's no flint down here. So I think it's too far gone. Before I do any more harvesting, I'm gonna go back and see if I can repair those. My assumption is gonna be no. Yep, look at that. We need one friggin' flint to repair this. That is such a bummer. We check on the map. The flint is pretty damn far away from where we are right now. But the shears are just gonna break at this rate, so... Yeah, gotta make a bit of a judgment call. We could also, I think there's also flint to the north. Maybe we just jet up north a little bit. See if we can find a flint node, grab a couple, and come right back. Quite honestly, anything I can do to just pass more time here during the winter, <laughs> any monotonous chore, I'll do it. Okay, we made it. There's the cockroach. There's our little workbench thing, and there's some flint right over there. Let's just see if we can... Oh, we aggroed him. Damn. Okay, what is he vulnerable to? Blunt, of course. That's, uh, not good. Okay, okay. We gotta practice anyway. I'm a little bit rusty. Go oh, do the best we can. Cold is not helping me right now. Okay, like two more hits maybe. Come on. Yes. Some of that heavy chitin, that's good for something. I think that's good for, what was that, the bow or something that we needed to make? Ah, here we go. So we came for right here. All right, got a campfire down here. This is the old workbench. Get a couple of repairs done. And we can head back to the swamp. <laughs> Just a little bit of a back and forth here. I might try to get a little bit more flint on my way. And all right, we can head back out to get some more silk. There's a whole bunch of it that I missed on top of this hill right here. Also, looks like we have respawns. That's a black widow right next to where I killed it before. Here's all that spider silk I was talking about. Oh boy, nocturnal spider up here. I am poisoned. Not good, I'm also out of stamina. Ah, oh boy, don't fall. Okay, he's down. Wow, that, um. It's a lot more difficult without the poison resistance potion. I just have these poison antidotes, which in the middle of a fight really aren't gonna help me a lot. Oh, these mosquitoes. Go, oh, they got me. Crap, get out of here. I'm assuming piercing damage, which is not ideal because I can't really see now. Great. Oh, they don't like going in the cave. I'm actually kind of safe here. Whoops, just try not to stab the chest. Wait, no, I think it's, uh, isn't it slashing damage they're weak to? I don't remember. They are so damn strong though, holy crap. Oh, dude, mosquitoes, no, not again. Thunder, is it gonna start raining? <laughs> Could it get any more miserable out here in the swamp? Oh, shoot, there's a whole swarm of them. Oh, jeez, yes, it's terrible. There's like five of them. What the heck, man? I think you just gotta tank them basically and swing until they die. They have these blood sacks and those are good for making something. I can't remember quite what that was. Oh, I just need stronger weapons at this point. I need to figure out how to get a better sword. Oh boy, oh Black Widow, he came out of the pen over there. Oh boy, not, not the pen, the cave. Just as I was noticing, some of these uh, spider cocoons are actually respawning in front of my eyes. Oh, this is not good. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm, yes, I'm gonna probably die here. I'm running. Yeah, just get out of their aggro zone and call it a day, probably. Yep, more cocoons over here. Ow, that's Black Widow venom in my veins. You gonna give up or what? Hide in the cave over here. No, 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 not giving up at all. Yeah, look at the, look at my health. Just uh, sapping down. I'm not gonna take the anti-venom at this point. I think I'm okay in the antidote. Just gonna counteract it with a regular bandage and Hope for the best, I guess. How long does this poison last for? Well, it's uh, it's gone now. I think we're good. Okay, so we need more of those resistance potions. In order to make those, we need poison glands. So, and in order to get the poison gland, you've got to kill spiders. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not liking the sound of that. The good news is we can just harvest these back up. If we can simply get enough silk to get the spider armor from Lissandra, I think that gives us poison resistance, so that would help. Yeah, just a case of bad timing, I think. I just came right back here at the same moment that the spider respawned. Is he on to me? No, but we're gonna have to kill it anyway. It's blocking my only campfire around here. Yeah, we've gotta get the poison glands too, so here we go. Just try to be careful like the first time when we didn't even take a hit. Okay, one more hit. We did get poisoned once, but should be okay. Yeah, in fact, I think it takes two poison glands in order to make the poison resistance potion. So yeah, when you, whenever you use that, you really gotta get your money's worth. Just a slightly poisoned, not a big deal. Those guys I don't think give you the poison glands. Oh no, I got a poison gland off that one. Oh, here we go. This is the view you want for archery. Zoom right in. I think I'm close to Lissandra's place. There's a weird bone structure there and all these candles. 
Let's check the map. Yeah, I'm pretty close to her. Oh, that is a human skull right there. Wow, pretty cool. I'm just gonna poke my head in here and see if there were any spider cocoons down here. Yeah, cause she's got these like pet jumping spiders down here, which are pretty docile. Oh, she, there's a cave that goes down there. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to head down here and see what's what in this cave. Okay. Um, is this maybe where the big spider lives? Oh, it is cold down here. Found a huge cluster of eggs and stuff over here. What would you call this, a clutch, clutch of eggs? Yeah, so many so that I, my, my shears were damaged. I just came back up here to warm up before I go deeper down the cave, because this cave is super cold. And if I just take a peek at the map, yeah, this could presumably just lead all the way down to the albino spider. That might have been in the dialogue with Lysandra, but quite honestly, I kind of skipped through it a little bit. Yeah, this might just be a, d oh, wait a minute. This just empties back out to the regular biome. Okay, okay. It does look like this is kind of pushing us in the right direction, though, to move south. So, okay, I've got a lot of silk right now. I think I'm gonna head back to the base. I'll harvest up these last couple here, and we'll see what we can do for crafting, and then get the materials all together, come back here, and we'll get the spider armor crafted. All right, I've had a productive day or so back at the base. I've got this uh, chitin spear crafted. I also crafted this chitin axe, and then I was disappointed to find out that it's actually, it replaces the sword, not the hatchet. The hatchet is what you have to use for chopping. This is not, does not count for chopping. I also got the new recurve bow, which is pretty nice. And I got all the materials down here that I'm going to need to craft the armor. I wrote it all down. I think I've got everything that I need. So we're good to go to head back to Lysandra to get the new armor crafted. I also crafted two uh, poison resistance potions. I hunted around for some poisonous mushrooms to get that crafted. And so we have two resistance potions that should be enough. Well, that's what I'm, I'm banking on is gonna be enough to uh, take out that albino spider. Oh my goodness, I'm making my way through the swamp and the snow has finally melted and I'm comfortable. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh my God, the winter, it's so bad. Oh wow, I didn't realize I could get like full first person here. It's not good, I will say that much. It's quite bad, actually. Oh, right, so if I crouch down, I get the over the shoulder, which is quite a bit better. Trying to get a sneak attack on that guy was not working out very well. Okay, yep. Yeah. First person's not good for combat, close quarters combat, at least. Let's get a little bit of a checkpoint going here at Lissandra's. All right, I'll repair it up and just make sure I set this as the respawn point. There we go. And here we go, finally, gonna get the new set of armor. Silk weave, leggings, arms, torso, and mask. Nice, I did it right. I'm so proud of myself. All right, well, there's our new look right there. Pretty, pretty slick looking. Look like, uh, I look like Spider-Man, kind of. <laughs> and this also gives us some extra run speed. I'm definitely feeling it. All right, slap down a storage chest. And I'm just gonna toss in that old chitin armor. Don't really need it, but I... Don't really want to throw it away either, so it can just sit in there for now. All right, so I guess we're heading over to the albino spider. Where is that guy? He's like due oh, down to the south. So we've got to find a way into this area. It doesn't look like he's in the proper swamp. He's kind of like up on these this highland area, or he might be underground. I, you know, my money would actually kind of be on that. But we've got poison resistance potions. We've got built-in poison resistance. See, there's the highland over there. I'm just gonna start skirting my way south, and hopefully I come across the a cave entrance. Ooh. Nope, this is not the kind of one that you can go into, though. Oh, the run speed is so good. It's gonna be really hard to put this armor down and, and get something else. In fact, I think the chitin armor that I had actually gave me a, a debuff, so I've probably gotten, I think it's 2% per piece of armor. So I've gone from negative eight to positive eight, so a change of 16% in run speed. <laughs> Man, it feels good though. Oh, okay, that is a cavey looking thing right there. And oh yeah, yep, that's leading right to the albino spider, I would say. Also got a spider down there. I'm gonna kill the spider. I'm gonna harvest up some of the bark I see over there. I'm gonna set down a bed right here because this is presumably gonna take a couple tries. Hopefully not, but... Oh, this is a full human skeleton over here. What the heck happened? They said that the humans were gone and that they had left. Uh, it might have been a little bit of a euphemism for <laughs> they all died in the swamp. All right, now, nope, building's not allowed here, but building was allowed over here. 
Okay, set that as the respawn point. And let's just make sure we're good to go here. Okay, we've got the poison antidote. That's on the tool belt. And uh, the poison resistance brew is good for 600 seconds. That's 10 minutes. So I'll hit that as soon as I get in here. I'm going to get the bow out for some ranged attacks to start off. Got bandages. Well, hopefully this works. We're a little bit hungry. Let's work on that. Make sure that we're nice and topped off there. And, oh, this is it. This is it. This is the spider right here. The big albino spider. Oh, just, just crouch down. He's like thundering around. He's really, really big. Um, okay. Environment is uh, is not good. If I go down there, it's, um, it's very tight quarters. However, he can probably scale all of this stuff, I would imagine. But someone with like good parkour skills might be able to get up onto these branches. If he's anything like the rhino beetle, he's just gonna charge right up here, no problem. The only other place I can see maybe is to go up there along the branch, but then there's just nowhere to go. There's no way to jump onto any of the other ones. I guess we're gonna have to do this the good old fashioned way. Let's get a good sneak attack in. Right into his belly. There we go. Just as many arrows as we can do right now. Yep, oh, he's coming right straight up here. Hello! Ah! Oh yeah, just take some fall damage right off the bat. That's nice. Alright, let's see what he's got for attacks. Probably something very powerful. There we go! Oh! Okay, yes. Get a bandage. He's weak to pierce. Get the, uh, the, the stabby things out. Okay, good, good. Big attack coming. Look out. Okay, I gotta time those because I need to have enough stamina to counterattack. Okay, still working on my timing. It's not going very well. Another bandage into me. Okay, we're gonna do power attack and then we're gonna wait and then dodge. Did that work? I'm not sure. Seems to have a pretty big delay on his attack, so I can get a power attack in and then and then just kind of roll backwards. And roll! I don't know if that worked or not. It's hard for me to tell. I can't look at two things at once. That one didn't work. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm hurting really bad now. Just get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let the bandages help me. I'm also poisoned at this point. Go ahead and take the poison antidote. All right, we're in the home stretch now. Hold on tight. And dodge. Dodge again. Counter attack. Oh, he's hurting me pretty badly now. Counter attack. Oh, just a couple more attacks. Just get the last bandage into me. Charge up my stamina and attack and attack. I've got him. Woo, albino spider eye. Nice. Wow, that used all my bandages and like all my potions too. Okay, I got some of the regular bandages. We can just, you know, we keep an eye on this um, this poison here because it's, it's hurting me pretty bad right now. And yeah, poisoned. It doesn't say for how long though. My poison resistance is still working. But despite that, that poison's really wreaking havoc on me. Oh yeah, we're definitely not out of the swamp yet, if you will. <laughs> There's mosquitoes around, there are spiders, and I don't have enough stuff to make a torch. Although, this looks familiar. I think we're close to Lissandra now. Yeah, oh, no, mosquito swarm. Oh, this is totally bad. Oh no, into this tunnel here, and hopefully they won't follow me. Oh jeez, thank goodness. I think this is the tunnel that leads up into Lissandra's little spider pit. Oh, he's following me though. Okay, yep, we're clear. He gave up and here we are. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, I managed to kill the giant albino spider. The eye that I recovered was cloudy and bloodshot, suggesting that this spider has been poisoned. She's got a friend named Tehala that uh, taught her everything that she knows and she would probably know more about the poison. And she's referring me to Nock, who I've already been to. Oh, she gave me the wolf spider treat. Nice, I could tame a wolf spider. All right, well, while I'm here, I will have all of the silk that I can bring home with me and then I'm gonna go home. Oh yes, this is the an effigy about the giants. Nobody knows the reason why they disappeared. Right, I don't think they disappeared. I think they're just a little bit, you know, dead. All right, finally back home. Wow, what a long adventure. So we had a lot of progress today. We got a new spear, new bow, new ax. We got the lumen spindle, a whole new set of armor. We've killed the albino spider and we're on to do Nox quest next. Nox is up here and this is the black hornet. Now I think the black hornet does piercing damage and uh, this gives piercing resistance as well as the, uh, what was it? Poison resistance, I thought. Oh, have I been just wrong all along? I thought that this armor gave you some poison resistance, but I guess it's just piercing. Maybe that's what the problem was. 
Anyway, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We should be able to take down the Hornet in the next episode. There's a massive storm going on outside right now, and I've got a whole inventory full of crap to put away. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.